Well, let's head straight to New Zealand where the Reserve Bank there, as I say, left its cash rate on hold at 5.5%. Jack Nihoff is our New Zealand correspondent and joins me now. Uh, Jack, what was the reasoning behind the decision? What's the rhetoric coming out of the Bank of New Zealand? Yeah, well, they're, truly, they're really trying to tackle high inflation here. Year-on-year -year inflation currently sitting at 4.7%. They've set a goal to get it down to between 1% and 3%. They say they've got a lot more to do to bring that inflation down, hence the no change for the sixth consecutive time. They're optimistic that they can achieve that by the end of the year, but this no change result was widely anticipated by economists here, Ross. OK, so the other thing, Jack, is there, the high interest rates relative to Australia at least, and now starting to show up in all sorts of ways. I mean, we've seen it with some newsrooms being cut back altogether, but there's more of that going on again today. Yeah, News Hub, which is owned by Warner Brothers Discovery, the international company, they've announced a major restructure of their New Zealand operation, essentially axing its entire newsroom here. That's 300 jobs, which are set to go. It would mean at Rival Network TVNZ, the 6 o'clock news would be the only news left here. There's also cuts and jobs set to go there as well. So this high inflation driving up cost of living, also businesses feeling that crunch with advertising revenue leaving as well. New Zealand's an economy heavily reliant on tourism. That's still recovering so we're really seeing these flow on effects particularly today with this massive restructure and jack just very briefly on the ground there do you feel it on a day-to-day -day basis and the price you're paying and the mood of the people in the street yeah, cost of living, 100% the number one issue for most Kiwis is really evident at the supermarkets actually moving here recently. Everything's a couple of dollars more, but when you go to the checkout, a, a simple meal, it can cost, you know, $50 to $100, quite significant amounts more than what you would pay back in Australia, back in Melbourne, where I'm from. Speaking to people here, that's really hitting hard. High rents as well, those interest rates obviously putting pressure on the housing market here too, so it's something that Kiwis are really concerned about and they're awaiting the budget come May, hopefully some relief from the government there. Yeah, Jake Nyhoff there in New Zealand. Many thanks for your time today.